Greetings, this is Gynthian. We're starting off today at the top of my mob farm on the Kingdom Chronicles server. I just finished up some time away from my keyboard, or AFK time for short. The purpose, of course, is to allow my mob farm to do its thing and generate lots of mob drops from the mobs that are in it being killed. This mob farm kills the mobs by dropping them down a hole and they fall to their deaths, at which point there are hoppers which collect the mob drops and put them into three different chests. Double chest, actually. One of my viewers pointed out that I really needed more storage to store the mob drops and I agreed. At that time I only had three double chests. That is why I built this modification to my storage for the mob farm. Now each of these three sides has four chests, which the top chest feeds into the next one down, and the next one below that, and the next one feeds into that, until all four chests get filled. Altogether, this increases the amount of mob drops I can store by four times, so now that makes it 12 double chests of storage. All of this brings me back to my original topic, which is spending time AFK at the mob farm so that I can collect more mob drops. One of those mob drops is rotten flesh, which I get from the zombies, and now I have two clerics that I can trade with. And that has allowed me to accumulate a lot of emeralds. Okay, this is a sped up version of me covering up this hole. During that, I want to explain something. The main reason I make YouTube content is I want to help you master Minecraft so you can enjoy watching and playing Minecraft anywhere. If this is your first time on my channel and you want to get the most out of your Minecraft experience, make sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell so you know when I produce videos. Wait a minute. Okay, that didn't go as planned. Let's go ahead and collect my stuff and move on to my next project. This is where I interact with my librarians and I want to build something in here. And wait a second. Second, my librarians, they're gone. Great, that, and that's got to mean I had a mob come in here like a skeleton and just sit and pick them all off. So I guess I will be starting over on this process of librarians. And I had a mending book. Damn. Anyway. We will move on to the project I was going to work on anyway. Here's an update. I'm having some problems with a skeleton. We'll just see if I can fix this and get back to work. Ooh, he's seen me. Let me dash over here and get my armor and stuff. Okay, I'm hiding while I go through my inventory and find my bow. And then I'm going to get rid of that skeleton. Let's go hunting for that skeleton. He's down there. Gotcha. Okay, I can finally put my armor back on. And then I want to show you 
what I've been working on. What I've been building. Let's take a look. This is Mumbo Jumbo's Emerald Generator. I have another video that I will put a link in the description that shows exactly how to make it. And here we go. This is the finished farm. You can see that inside there are farmers. They aren't normally in boats, but this is how they're being stored for right now until I let them loose. There's a good reason for this, which I'll show you in a minute. There is a zombie beneath them, hidden behind some piston-powered floor. Let me show you what the what the zombie looks like. And yes, I put a villager trader head on the zombie. And here we're bringing in villager number one. And here's the second villager. And here's the third. And here's the fourth villager. They'll all be my farmers. And now I'm going to put a ball of glass around. And then I'm going to see if I can let these guys go. Well, that doesn't work. Let me drop him down. Let me go inside. Let's see what I can do. Oh, come on. That is not what I wanted to do. But I don't just finish there. I have other problems as well. And I don't seem to learn. Here I am much later. I've decided to go back and try to test the zombie part. Press the lever to release the zombie. And this should change the zombie to a zombie villager in the boat. gonna take a while to fix. The zombie wasn't supposed to get in the boat. And this on the screen can tell you exactly how things have been going. It's almost comical. And I've managed to lose all my villagers. They were had to be killed before I could get them all sorted out. And now I need to release the zombie so I can put him back where he's supposed to go. And everything seems to be a problem. Can I reach him? No. Let's try over here. I can reach the boat. No, I can't reach the boat. I just lost the composter. Oh, it's over here now. This is probably going to fall down below when I do this. I can't get into a composter to pick it up. So, let's just... Let's remove the composter and see if I can then drop down and get it. I got one of them. There's the other one. Hop down. Then we'll just go straight back up. I have an ender pearl. Oh god, thank you. I didn't die. That's all I need. So I've got the two comp the two composters. What do 
I do? Should I edit out all my indecision? Nah. You close this off so the zombie doesn't escape. Now can I release him? I'm trying to get my health back. Let's see. And he's still there. So... Oh. I keep... I built this to capture zombies and I keep falling into it. Not falling, but being captured by my own trap. And it doesn't look like he can get in. Trying to get him to go into the middle. But I'm not sure he can get in because of the iron doors through there. What, what can I do? I should never have come over here and messed with this until I was ready to do it correctly. Need more health. And I need to figure out how I'm gonna get this done. I think I'm going to have to remove one of those iron trap doors in order to make this work. I want to remove... okay. Now I'm inside. And see, he can't get in. Thought he could get in right there where there's no carpet. But evidently not. So let's do it. Let's just remove one of these. And don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Oh, he's back where he's supposed to be. Perfect. No, go back in. Where's that carpet? Okay, now he can't get out. Let me put that iron, iron uh, trapdoor back. And there we go. Now I just need to put the composters back. One. Why isn't it working? I guess I don't want the composters to be over open space. They could be. just put them in. Okay, and we are done restoring this back to a working zombie. Obviously, I don't have the villagers anymore. So this is going to be a process. But, there he goes, he's in. Now let me just clean up this mess. Okay, you can see I got my diamond armor back. I finally broke down 
and went and enchanted the set of diamond armor that I had stored away so that I could finally get some better protection. So this is all enchanted up. Not as good as the god armor that I lost, but it'll do. Hopefully it will keep me alive and keep me from getting blown up. I am out of time for this episode, and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Holidays. Goodbye. Please consider supporting me on Patreon. If you can't do that, then come back to this video. There is a link in the description for Amazon, and that would help me too. Otherwise, please subscribe and click on the bell so you know when I produce videos. Goodbye. Goodbye.